Okay, I bring, bring white book this time. That's another, uh, not one of their broken decks, but it's another top deck that if uh, it were another faction, it would be one of their best decks for Lannister. It's uh, <laughs> mid-tier. Ooh, against the um, Alliance uh, Free Companies and Banner Dragon. Okay, you can do some mercenaries with that, I guess. I think... Um... I think I'm really the only person that I see play this a lot. I think there was another different version of Stalik, but... Um, it, was, it made the cut of Stalik. Top 30 yeah, but the different version than what um, Rise of plays, I think. Yeah, but not um, too different, actually, I mean... So, uh, this guy with Boy King and... Okay, it's not Bodyguard, but it's White Cloak, which can make him save himself, so that's like, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I bet there's only one Boyd King in the deck. You are losing this here right in setup. Now. So we can see the already a big board advantage with the broken Boyd Swords plot. However, let's not despair. Boy King on Davin is so annoying. It is. It, it has a limit, right, uh, for the gaining power, but Davin's ability is limit twice. Usually you can just trigger it once because he does one challenge, but this way he can do two. Works on defense as well, by the way, on defense, uh, if your character gets killed, any character with uh, printed goes three or lower, so it even blocks some military going the other way or something. Can Morgulis him away now, as you said? He yeah, has I mean, self -save. didn't quite realize that it's gonna trigger on like his character, and I played into it when in my game, and I lost because of that. But I mean, I was probably gonna lose anyway. But mm -hmm. made sure that like, there was not another round with that stupid military. Ooh, is right with down going to be forced to concede because uh, <laughs> of the leg? Yes. The only the only thing uh, you can do when you have legs is immediately concede. <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> it is the rule, yes. Lenny White Book is not as good as the Red White Book. But it's pretty decent still. Intimidate army and going first, well, but you need to win a challenge. And if Did you I do... talk on stream yet about my take that uh, the real white book is overrated? Um, did you? Maybe. No. Anyway, that's really bad for you. Mirkun Tyrion, yeah. okay. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, three kings guards... No, two kings guards. Darwin is not. Uh, they are... Uh, Devin gets straight from the whites. Oh, no. he is now, is he? Yes. No, 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 no. He just gains no? the... Whatever, yes. <laughs> of course, right. Yeah, he gains the trait. <laughs> just the, just the denial, whatever. He can have the trait. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, you can't win a challenge because there's also Osmond. You can try to do military with the... Um, sorry, um, intrigue with the Intimidate army. Uh, hit Devin, I guess. Ooh, Eris, if only white, the white swords wasn't a thing, that would be really nice. <laughs> so, Kinda like hitting Friedman. Not attacking military, I mean at this point. There is no... Why would you? Yeah, because uh, they're gonna stand twice anyway, right? It doesn't matter. Just gonna concede oh, two on the uh, on defense now instead of one on the... I mean, you're still going to concede two on defense. Yeah, it's the same thing, I guess. Can oppose this. Stop the rush. It would be so much better if he couldn't um, if he couldn't save himself and you're just more bullies in a way. What's going on with uh, unbridled? Is it being played? Brave Companions, yeah. Tyrion and Host of the Boundary, okay. 
Oeh, Bryce gebruiken mensen. Eventually you can play the. Eventually you can play the. No attachments event on Tyrion. Yeah. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> Lot of power considered. We can Murgulis uh, this guy away. Darwin will stay. And uh, Eris is in the discard pile for White Swords. I don't know if White Swords is the next blood that's going to be played. If it is, then you go second, uh, the go first and uh, bring it in after Morghulis has resolved and then in between in business. Also, the Harris gets rid of one of the bigs. Okay, we go. Manning, what does uh, White Book want to do here? Okay, what do we want to do here? First, March first. Lose the Intimidate army, but we can bring in another one. We bring in Golden Company. Not quite as good. Although it is a power icon. Mm How about another host of the Boneway? Mm. Well, if the Intrigue challenge stays weak... I mean, it is Lannister, so uh, no guarantees about that. And could see Jamie as well being played at some point. Guardian Shadows, I have no clue what it is. Well, if it's Pinch... <laughs> There's some weird banging outside. In, On my end? In, no, in, in this apartment building. It was also in this apartment building, but I don't think it's hard to stream. Some children. Well, we're going to stand uh, host of the Boneway and we get treachery, sure. And we hit hands judgment well. Okay, so two cancels gone, and at this point, I'm not sure if uh, Osmund has anything can uh, realistically b bring into um, play. There is Drado on Daven. Is there actually? I mean, not realistic. Will be difficult at the moment with uh, the cards situation. Um, didn't have pinch though, otherwise Tyrion might have been in this one. Okay, the rest we're gonna defend, we're gonna concede a bunch of power again. Why can the boy king go on uh, characters that are not boys? Yeah, that was, I think we had a discussion about this, it should be one of those um, print that cost three or lower unique character or something like that. Mm -hmm. A bit of um, well, it's causing problems now for us because it's winning the game. Do we have actually a character that can win this on defense? Uh, it seems extremely Here unlikely. It has so many purposes because it has um, it has both um, for the trait, he has the safe and he has the power gaining ability. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are actually, um, we can't defend this and we're not going to defend power either. Uh, 
Okay, and we're not gonna Google this, so there. You know, old bit bone would have been amazing. Don't have that either. I'm sure there is a copy in the deck. Must be. Just going everyone. Can't stop superior claim, so may as well leave the dominance character. No spirit claim, that would have been unusual to get that on top of everything. Okay, so Lannister has had its fun now. Come on, let's have a uh, Harris. Sure, but okay, it gets rid of some power, but it's a very temporary solution, I think. Well, I disagree, and it it beats white so no it doesn't beat white swords because we didn't play the maiden did we whatever think it's white swords for Ares in this game if we don't reset we do reset yeah. however we don't we initiative because white swords has been designed in a way that uh, it has potentially that is genuinely one of my biggest complaints about white swords like air has initiative one you have to try hard to not even lose sometimes to Morgulis if there is um, a maiden blade. But no, White Sword just can win to. to Harris can win to. Morgulis wins to every reset possible. Yes, and 11 gold on it if it's Baristan, or just a poor 9 gold if it's Harris. People saying yeah. uh, can't hit White Swords because it will hurt non Terrell White Book. Well, so what? I mean, this is, shouldn't be in the game. Just pay yeah, for your characters. Like... You're importing renown Bicons uh, and you have a stand for them if you play this agenda. So just pay for them. Come on, White Swords. Why is this in yeah, the game? Yeah, I think. I agree. I think White Swords at least should be somewhat errated, right? Like three gold and one initiative. Right? That sounds way more reasonable. <laughs> well, Mircella is here and the gold still there on uh, the guy, Sir Osmond. I kind of feel like Osmond may not have much stuff. No. And maybe he's just waiting. Well, if there was a character probably just marshal it because well not that close to winning yeah, actually maybe because Knight of Flowers went I didn't judge quite correctly because actually there was a bunch of power on Knight of Flowers way more than I thought yeah uh, it would be on 8 if you kept Knight of Flowers instead of down yeah but exposed to uh, Margulis is the, the tourist and type deck yeah and Boy King doesn't go on anyone except uh, Davin at the moment so is it kind of Lannister Lord? Yes. No, just Lord. Okay. Lord, yeah, Lord. No, none of these are Lords, so. Was Knight of Lords a Lord? I, I don't think he is. No Lord trade, but instead three or lower cost, because I feel like it's unreasonable to have some power. Yeah. Um, it's clearly not a boy. Look at him, he has a huge beard. <laughs> Doesn't go on seven cost, Joffrey, you're right. Um, who said that? Uh, Floydus, but. Um, the thing is, he is a king anyway. Oh, does he have um? Does he not have a lord trait? He wouldn't be uh, a king, right? He wouldn't be cost three or lower. That's what. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, then could say like, I am no one, Arya or three cost or lower. So, Joffrey or three cost or lower, if you want. But nobody's putting that on the seven cost Joffrey anyway. Mm -hmm. We're leaving this one. Let's see if Mircella triggers since she's the only intrigue icon. I don't think she'll trigger, she's just there to be killed the for Boy King. Maybe, yeah, maybe she wants to escape the board, but um, there's theoretically no claim, so can we also? And I can win power unless we have a, an icon granting 
ability if we have nothing we're just gonna concede everything again we just have no counterplay to this in this particular game wind blown in shadows right and it's we don't have the icon to support that yeah. unless there is a uh, in Doran's name <laughs> Is Indoran's name allowed to be played with secret schemes? No. Have you played secret schemes? I don't think Oh no, did. sorry, that was the previous game, I'm sorry. <laughs> and yet another card goes. Why is he standing? Okay. We can play Doran's game with this guy for two power. can't even do military we just have to do intrigue I mean we can do military and concede the power it's gonna be 14 we get rid of one character and hope uh, Lannister's running out I think that's a miss bad choice because he's now also going to draw I think okay maybe I don't have another reset but uh, if you could somewhat reset there is a there you go. Yeah, I'm just going to get lose another card and no. Oh did that... he trigger twice already? Okay, must have done. Why did his ability not to trigger? Yeah, I must have gained renown twice, right, for the two challenges. So. Oh yeah yeah for the two challenges, of course. Silly. Silly me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Lannister plays you winner, you die again. In every deck, in every Lannister deck is allowed to have you winner, you die. If Lannister doesn't have one restricted card in all of their decks with the next restricted list, so that they cannot play you winner, you die anymore as they're restricted, uh, I'm going to scream. I'm going to probably <laughs> do something really, really drastic. By really drastic, he means he's gonna annoy deadly rent at me for a day and then forget about it till the next tournament happen. <laughs> I'm now. I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna stop playing until Lannister is dealt with. Bear. Yeah, yeah. If I see Lannister yeah. with you win or die, I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> Considering immediately. <laughs> Is Connor just going to concede? I think he might as well. <laughs> Winner, you die, and then you you draw your way into Tywin and and you play him because you don't have a restricted card. Oh, Tywin's not restricted. Why should he be? I mean, Tywin and Khal Drogo, <laughs> the the two factions that never get restricted. Meanwhile, uh, the Rob Starks and the, all the Greyjoy cards, uh, of course, they would be restricted. Yeah, I mean, you can't really say that. Um, I don't know. Okay, Victorian is absurd, so all the other cards are slightly worse than Victorian, but I mean, he's at least up there with him. Should... I don't know. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, what about the broken Martel cards? Broken cards. List all the broken Martel cards. Well, uh, best Martel cards, uh, secret schemes, right? Restricted <laughs> in the run's name. That's restricted. It's not just uh, you have to take it as your restricted yeah. card if you want to play it. You can't play you win or you die. That's the thing, right? Uh, I don't know what. I mean, the, there's some lords and ladies decks that uh, have a bit of success recently, uh, but it's still kind of all about the the hollow hill stuff which of course is periodically restricted so uh, gets restrictions then it gets some um, cards uh, coming off and then back if it's overperforming meanwhile two years we've been watching these Lannister games and uh, nothing is done just just no restrictions and uh, uh, personally I think Targaryen as well is super well protected uh, in the German tournament King at the Wall today there is um, 
uh, Tark Kohoros, so that's uh, second, and the Tark Brotherhood, I think, is uh, near the top. So, uh, hoping those two and uh, the Lany Reigns win, so that uh, people finally shut out, shut up about uh, those decks not getting any results and uh, whatever. Only Reinhardt and Jim Hansen play them. Come on, get rid. They're the top decks in the game. They don't have any restricted cards, and they play you win or you die or whatever. It's ridiculous. So. Um, that was the that game, sorry about <laughs> the ranting, but it is what it is. We are far too down now, that's why. Uh, I think there are some other games. I could go home, but uh, if people want to watch other games, let's see what's uh, on the calendar, I guess, soonish. Um, oh, in five minutes, I think. Richard Walker against Marcel Arias, or this one that we just saw, so I guess Richard Walker. And I think I saw one scheduled. Um, uh, just now, just recently, on the um, on Discord. That's not on this calendar, so I think we have a choice of games. So should we stick around and uh, stream one more? Then I go home. I, I can stick around. Possibly uh, the plan. Uh, so. Uh, By the way, uh, Poli says that Lani Drew is so bad, but honestly, if you have like five restrict, uh, five overpowered. Uh, cards that are three copies in the deck, you're gonna draw something um, uh, something good anyway, even if you had no draw, and they draw Cersei and Tywin every time. Anyway, <laughs> Landy so. draw is bad, well, sure, I mean, uh, if the game goes even slightly long and resets happen, then uh, Lannister has Goldmine, which means it has magical top decks, a anything they don't want, they replace for something else. They have uh, the bestow deck, you just throw stuff in the discard pile for draw and then uses the discard pile <laughs> yeah. to play it. Clansmen. Well, Clansmen do uh, Clansmen do kind of run out of um, out of cards, but they recycle the same ones and, and keep killing you off. They just go back to hand, right? Yeah. So I mean, uh, <laughs> the 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 stuff about Lenny draw is uh, honestly, I mean, it gets uh, old a little bit. There are draw and cards. Uh, also now has has a Davin, which Davin draws a whole bunch of stuff, right? Yeah, Davin draws. You, uh, once it gets going, it draws like two mm. cards if you have it like this. And uh, there's stuff that <laughs> they don't put in decks, right? They don't put uh, the um, fever dreams and stuff like that in decks. Yeah, and uh, now is Kingswood, as Poli says. And also, by the way, they have the available option of using Tyrion for draw, but of course, why would you when he can just kill the whole board and then go to claim intrigue and, or to claim power? Mm -hmm. Plus, insight on several of their characters. Mm -hmm. And puts their pounds on the Maester. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. And by the way, they just play you win or you die for draw anyway, right? <laughs> That's two cards. <laughs> Others need to play yeah, copper. Yeah, apparently. I, I also forget about it sometimes. Yeah, I've seen him uh, get gold to get a different ambush in. Another painted dog. Yeah, where uh, yeah. sometimes there's just not enough stuff on the board to kill and claim goes over the, the available victims. So you just do... Yeah. <laughs> Another ambush, or you, you, you even draw uh, one of the games in this. And of course, if he uh, just had the just the claim raise ability, that would be way too weak. So it has to have the other two options as well if you don't need it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we saw the draw being used um, in one of the games recently, right? Uh, I'm not sure who was playing that. Uh, was playing clansman, and the uh, game wasn't go going that well, and just used the draw, and uh, thought, okay, maybe. Stuff the way, uh, uh, starts happening for me. Henry asked once some Lannister on the call a while back. There is a lot going in chat, but if you want to join, uh, you're welcome to join. Mm -hmm. it's in the, in we the are now going to watch uh, Greyjoy, I think. Yeah, just, uh, yeah I mean, you can stay join on this screen the because it, like. the chat looks a little bit better on a wide background. So we're mm. sticking on this one until the new game starts. Mm -hmm. So, which game is it? I think we're going to watch uh, Richard's game against, um, who did we say, uh, Marcel Arias. That could be good. Mm -hmm. 
Peter says that he uses him a lot to draw because he kills all the board anyway. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Um, Everybody wants Night Watch to lose, probably. Yeah, uh, of course. If Night Watch <laughs> wins and uh, Martel and Baratheon don't, then it will be really difficult. They'd need to lose the last round to give everyone else the chance, basically. I mean, if Martel draws. No, that doesn't actually help. Yeah, I mean, if Martel draws, Night Watch wins, and then last round, Night Watch draws, Martel would need to win. 7-1 or something to to win from there, so... Uh, yeah, we still have uh, two more games. I play Bobby, that's not going to be fun. And uh, I think uh, David plays... Is it Harus Pex? Uh, who is playing uh, uh, in the German tournament at the moment. Uh, let's see if the game has started, otherwise I can um, show you uh, how that's going. Let's see. So we have um, top 16 stage, Leonard Paga, King of Swiss, has made it through, he beat uh, no one, he's uh, uh, pre-qualified because he was, uh, I think there's 15 players with uh, 3 wins and 2 losses, uh, so Leonard is through by default, and then Schweik has already won against Hanno Lunser. Uh, to make the quarterfinals, and then the other pairings, Marty Ferreira, Targaryen, Kohor against uh, Steven Richter playing Bara Brotherhood. Then we have Neo playing against Geralt Gamrat, that's uh, Greyjoy crossing against uh, Stark crossing. Um, not sure how to pronounce this. It is this. Stark Brotherhood. My bad W with Stark Fidelity playing against uh, David Tegtmeier, Bara Aloof. And Kuvalek plays against Rene Baldov. This is Barra Free Companies, which we don't know exactly what it is. Could be uh, Smugglers, but it wasn't in this tournament. Against Greyjoy Brotherhood, which is a deck that made uh, also online worlds cut uh, this year. And uh, Werner with Spider. Martel Reigns at the same deck, I guess. Martel Reigns against Tivailo Lannister Alliance, also uh, in the top 16. And uh, more. We have uh, Susanna with Dark Gift of Mercy playing against Alyosha Dark Brotherhood. Ooh, hoping Alyosha wins and then suddenly uh, people can shut up. Who is the person who defends Stark Brotherhood the most? Is it Imrik or is it Peter Shook? I don't know, the Targ apologists. Um, yeah, lots of them around are very way, vocal. Yeah, I mean, Francisco says in the chat that we um, won against Lani and then Lani also only had draws um, and uh, I guess wins, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And um, we were the only ones that beat them, so I think we should all, as terrorists, be now rooting for Lenny to win the tournament so we can have that minor victory of being the ones who beat them. <laughs> Uh, they can, if they beat us, then they will win any tiebreakers against us, which is go good for them. Against Knights, which they played 4-4. Four, four. So they would need to win the last one as well, and then hope that um, Knights, which doesn't get a win and a draw, they're, they're about to get a win, I think, so... Yeah, it will be difficult. It's looking like Night Watch, but uh, Bara could still potentially stop them if they have um, if they beat Stark. They're 3-2 down. Um, and uh, who won the match against? Uh, oh, Bara plays Night's Watch. Bara plays Night's Watch in the last one, right? So if they beat uh, Stark or get a result and stay within uh, uh, ten points of uh, Night's Watch, and then they beat them, they win the tournament, right? And they have a good matchup against Night's Watch. Uh, the Night's Watch has an excellent team. Um, I would say better than the Barra team, slightly. Uh, across the board anyway, right? Barra has some really uh, strong players who have been performing amazingly, but uh, just if you go down the list and then uh, there's still uh, uh, the Storm Hundreds and guys like that for Knights which are available. Uh, Knights are still undefeated, right? Um, yeah. yeah, we are too, but uh, not looking good now. Also, um, only draws and wins, yeah. No one can defeat Night's Watch. Mm -hmm. I think Night's Watch, uh, kind of, I think would be very, very deserved winner because they do have 
the best team. They have the best team. They made a good draft. Uh, um, and the play decks um, since I mean they make good good decks. And um, finally, uh, they sh shut up the people who say that Night Switch is not good in this format. Uh, I think I mean, it's excellent. Has if you agree with that? I yeah. think you have to give them this year. They have the best possible chance to win. Yeah. With the team team. I think they have uh, they have so many different decks that they can play. I think it's a it's a good faction. It was my yeah, wish. They ahead do of great the in the war format, so why wouldn't they do good here? Yeah, exactly. I was uh, I was totally um, prepared to play Night Switch this year. I was looking forward to the possibility. Uh, maybe next year. We see. Or if they win, then I'm slightly demotivated because it can only go downhill if they win this year. <laughs> can only uh, fail to repeat that, so... Yeah, if you play uh, in a faction that won previous year, then... Hello, Floyd. Is some pressure. <laughs> yeah, um... By the way, uh, we had last year... Um, Peter Shuk winning as regent, who was part of our uh, Barra winning team two years ago, and uh, now Stelios, who was also part of that team, uh, has a chance to win as regent. Not sure if uh, as the regent. Not sure if anyone else has been a regent from that team and failed to win. I don't think so. So me, but I was traded. You were traded, yes. You said you're gonna play uh, banner uh, sun and stuff like that and practice for one day and then <laughs> gave up. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can I say? I don't like yellow cards. Yeah. I love yellow cards. Played them before, so I don't have a, that much of a need to play Bar again. I would uh, be happy to play it again, but uh, I would love to play Bar next year. Yeah, I don't know. Bar or Stark again? <laughs> if uh, just don't put me in Martel next year for the third year in a row. <laughs> if Night Switch wins, then I don't particularly want to play Night Switch again. As I said, you can't uh, really do better than winning, so it. You can only really lose from there. Uh, and I don't want to play the two factions I've played before, Martel and Tyrell again. So if it's not Bara, then... Uh, I don't know, Greyjoy seems to underachieve a lot. I'd play Greyjoy. I think they uh, have more options than they're um, using, kind of. They have a... Greyjoy was second last year. To be fair, they did have yeah. the most... the most um, forgiving uh, <laughs> restricted list in a while. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, and what's left? Lannister, uh, I don't know. Maybe it would be slightly more fun to play Lannister if they get the proper restrictions. Now it just feels a bit dirty to, to play it. I mean, they can... <laughs> any day they can play. I mean, their, their rush is, is crossing. Their aggro is uh, clansmen. Their uh, control is the bestow. I mean, anything they can do. It's not like... Uh, we don't have counters in our faction for whatever. They have counters for everything because they have all the archetypes and all of them are tier 1. It's not like you have to um, uh, try really hard to make something work. So I wouldn't want to play Lannister unless <laughs> they're nerfed a little bit. And Stark, uh, haven't mentioned. I'd play Stark. Stark hasn't won yet. They also uh, honestly don't use that much of their card pool. Well, a bit more in this tournament than, than in the game in general, I guess. Martel, very fun in this uh, format. I agree. I don't know about that. <laughs> I think Martel seems to like you have um, the Durant's game rush decks, you have the. Um, <laughs> what else do we have? <laughs> we spent the Hollow Hills, so. Hollow Hills answer, I wanted to say. I got distracted because I was reading the chat. I wasn't even struggling to remember <laughs> the Hollow Hill deck that's around all the time. Yeah, uh, not yeah. anymore. And you have Shadow and stuff. Some shadows, some sand snakes. Uh, I, I, I'm not complaining. I've played a lot of um, different stuff in Martel. I haven't played uh, Icon Control that much. Only one game. That's uh, one of my favorite archetypes as well. So hopefully there's still time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So um, is there gonna be a game? We are past the, <laughs> the point where it should have started, right? Should I? I'll, I'll put in the thing. Mm. If there isn't anything, I go home. There's one at uh, in two hours, I think, but uh, that's a pretty late one for me. 
have some, by the way, some recordings. Uh, I still haven't uploaded uh, everything for from uh, round five. A few videos still pending, and then from round six, I have uh, all the Martell stuff and some other stuff, some Terrell games. Um, so that will all have to happen uh, tomorrow or um, Monday or something. Have to be patient. Uh, Ryan game. Yes, we do have that recorded. Was a good one. But yeah. Yeah, they... they're playing shortly. They said. Okay, we have. I'll upload in order. So. We have, we to have a couple wait. of good style games recorded. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then next week. Um, unfortunately, I won't have that much time going to to France next week for the French Nationals. So, uh, in the second half of the week, I am not here to stream or record anything. So, if uh, I'll try and catch what I can, just hopefully they don't play during the day because I'll be at work. Yeah, uh, mm. hoping we can get Martel but games. I'm at least. working like a responsible adult. <laughs> we so, have uh, all the games. Drunk. Recorded so far for Martel, so I hope we don't uh, miss any now. I, it wasn't initially the plan to record all of them, but now we're so close to the end that we haven't missed one, so would be great. But if, uh, for instance, Knights of Chenbaratian are playing uh, uh, for the title or something, or if it, if it's genuinely still not undecided by the final weekend, it will be a bit sad that I'm not here to stream. So hopefully, someone else uh, jumps in to take care of that. You will be happy to know that also the Targaryen Brotherhood deck is made to quarterfinals, um, played by Alyosha, so people can say that it's just rain, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it has to win. Uh, the game is up, by the way. It has not started yet. I mean, he is playing against uh, against Leonard, so it's not like he, uh, if he loses, that means the deck is shit. So what do we have? We have uh, two Lenny decks, Alliance and Reigns. We have two Targaryen decks, Kohor and Brotherhood, of course. We have uh, one Martell Assault, one Bar of Free Companies, one Stark Filthy, and one Greyjoy Crossing. No Tyrell and no Night's Watch. Night's Watch uh, super underrepresented anyway. I think there was just like, one entry or something. Uh, but Tyrell, Tyrell had two entries, to be fair, so also uh, hasn't okay, made it. So we've got Greyjoy Fealty versus Night's Watch Prince was promised. Uh, by the way, just before we join the game, I want to comment on this. Uh, not exactly the quarterfinals you would have expected, right? Uh, looking at the players who didn't make it uh, in the top 16 and even lower. Uh, and the players who did make it are not uh, the usual suspects here. I mean, almost no one is a usual suspect apart from Leonard, so... Hmm. 